Okay, so we're going to do just a really quick review because I know that you, you received a lot of information yesterday. <laughs> and some of you may have been able to apply it and to notice it throughout, you know, the day and different things like that. Just, it's there to make you think, it's there to bring some awareness to how we're responding to life, really, and what we're allowing to influence us, what we're allowing to um, maybe even control our behavior or how we're triggered in different situations. So the first yama that we reviewed was ahimsa, which is non-harming, and that brings us into peacefulness. Then we have satcha, which is truthfulness, and is speaking truth, and that brings us into our integrity. Then we have asteya, which is non-stealing, that brings us into generosity. Then we have brahmacharya, which um, is, that can be either the um, right use of energy or the celibacy. So depending on how traditional you want to go with that one. Um, and then we have the um, Abhigarha, which is um, the non forty and moving us into gratitude. So were you guys able to kind of notice a couple of different things yesterday and the exercises that oh, we did? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Like what we went over, the, everything popped up kind of throughout the day, different things. Good. For sure. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. So, um, <laughs> there's oh. a light. <laughs> <laughs> It just turns on when it wants. Okay, so what we'll try to do is is keeping those things in mind. I want to do a little bit of a message in this particular asana practice about using our authentic voice in order for us to be able to use some of those yamas. Okay, um, and then throughout the practice, kind of keep a mind um, about you know maybe you know what is your space like? What is um, how are you treating your body today? You know, when you're coming in, are, are you stealing anybody else's peace or time by being disruptive or different things like that? So those things are just, you know, we're going to keep them in mind as we're working through our practice today, okay? So we're going to start in child's pose. We're going to widen the knees, bring our big toes together. Go ahead and stretch down, bring that belly right between the knees. Bring the fingertip up towards the front of the mat. Rest your forehead on the earth. Take a deep breath in here, and exhale out. Coming to center, take another deep breath in. Exhale out. Roll your forehead side to side, starting to work out some of those small muscles that we use, that we don't even realize are tight within our face, our head. Soften your jaw, your neck, your shoulders. Allow your spine to stretch down so your sit bones come to meet your heels. Bring your fingertips a little bit more towards the front of that mat. Take another deep breath in. And exhale out. We're gonna take a moment to ground here. So, Whatever we brought in for today, we're gonna to leave that outside and we're just gonna focus on ourselves. We're gonna to come to center and we're gonna create that mind-body connection. Our to-do list or anything that we are worried about getting accomplished for today, we're just gonna set that aside and set our intention for our practice. And come into a space of servitude and love. And think about how can I serve best today? Whether it's yourself or another person. How can I be of the highest purpose in service? Take another breath in, and as you begin to exhale, come up into seat pose. So we're gonna have you right here on the edge. So this is bothersome, you can come into easy seat, whichever is best for you. We're gonna bring our hands to the lap. We're gonna take a deep breath in here. Close your eyes, coming to center. We're gonna practice our Ujjayi breath. So take a deep breath in, and exhale out. 
and practice three breaths of Ujjayi. Restricting the back of that throat, starting to generate some heat. And trying to keep that breath going as we work through our practice, we're going to come into tabletop here. So we're going to start opening up the spine, hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. We're going to inhale here, and the crown and the root are going to come up towards this, the sky here. So up towards the sky. Inhale deep. Exhale, move down. Crown and root towards the earth. Inhale using your jaya breath. Trying to control that breath. At first, it might be shaky or difficult, but just working with that, incorporating that into your body and into the movement. Couple more rounds here. Inhale, come into cow. Exhale, come into cat. Inhale, come into cow. Exhale, come into cat. Come back to neutral. Take a nice deep breath in. As you exhale, tuck your toes and move into down dog. So move your, your feet, you're going to you're gonna, um, take one heel and press it down into the earth and you're going to take the other heel and press it down into the earth. We're opening up the back part of the legs here, so the hamstrings in the back of the body. Press those sit bones up towards the sky, push away with the palms of your hands and send each heel down towards the earth. Take a nice deep cleansing breath in here and exhale out. few more rounds here. Deep breath in, cleansing breath. Exhale out of your mouth. One more breath in. Exhale, look forward and step forward. Inhale to a halfway lift, pressing those fingertips into your shins to move those shoulders away from your ears. Nice flat back. Exhale, we're going to fold forward. So here we're just going to stay in the forward fold position. Take your right knee, bend your right knee, straighten your left leg. And then switch, left knee, bend right leg straight. And keep alternating at your pace. You practicing ahimsa today, we're going to be non-harming to our bodies. We're going to allow our bodies to tell us what is comfortable for them to do. When your body is in, in the comfort zone, that's when you can take it to a little bit of a challenge of an edge, but in a safe, uh, safe manner. So in a healthy boundary there. Just keep on alternating for just a few moments here. Pressing those feet into the earth, grounding down through their toes. Come back to neutral, take a nice deep breath in, up through the back part of the body, and exhale, fold forward just a little bit further. Slightly bending your knees, and bring your fingertips underneath your toes. Pull the upper part of the shoulders away from the earth, Give a nice stretch across the, front, the top part of the back. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, slowly come to rise. So just vertebrae by, by vertebrae, all the way up. Inhale through your fingertips up to the sky, nice big body stretch here. All the way up, inhale deep. Exhale, way forward, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high plank. Exhale, low plank. Inhale, 
inhale, just a small little up dog or cobra, just a baby one. And your exhale, tuck the toes down, dog, press up. Walk your dog out here. Take a deep breath in. You're gonna move just a little bit quicker through this next one. So take an exhale. As you exhale, look forward and step forward. Inhale, come to a halfway lift. Exhale, come to fold. Inhale, come to rise. Bring your tips up towards the sky. And exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high to low plank. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, tuck your toes down dog. So we're gonna do three breaths here. You can still pedal out your feet if you choose to. Pressing away with your palms or your hands. So this is where we can also start to practice sasha, which is truthfulness. And finding the truthfulness of where our boundaries are, the truthfulness of what we're trying to accomplish in our practice. Are we pressing our bodies further because we want to accomplish what one puts, you know, particular pose? Are we trying to rush through the postures because we're trying to keep up in class? Being honest and truthful with where you are on your mat today, what you've come to be in today, Recognizing that and honoring that, take a nice deep breath in. As you exhale, look forward, step forward. Inhale to a halfway lift. Exhale to a fold. Allowing your head to hang like an anchor. So the root of your head, or the front of your head is going down towards the earth, rooting down into the earth. Pretending and acting as though it's an anchor Allowing your spine to stretch all the way from the tailbone to the top of the head. Inhale, come to rise. And exhale, fold. Inhale, half more lift. Exhale, high to low. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Do a little bit deeper now as the low back starting to warm up. Exhale, tuck your toes down, dog. We're gonna go through that one more time just to really open up the back part of the body here, superficial muscles. So take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, look forward, step forward. Inhale to a halfway lift. Exhale to a fold. Inhale, come to rise. Arms all the way up. Exhale, forward, fold forward. Inhale to a half point lift. Exhale, chaturanga, higher the plank. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Bringing those shoulders back, chin up high, offering the heart, pressing that sternum forward. Exhale, down dog. Good. So we're gonna take that right leg, and we're gonna lift that leg up into the sky. We're gonna open up that front hip. Bring that right leg to the front of the mat. Right foot to right thumb. Tuck that back foot to a 45 degree angle. Here we are. So we are in the beginning stages and foundation of a warrior pose. So you should be able to lift up the upper part of your body, stabilizing through your feet here. Once you find that foundation, inhale, come to rise. We're gonna stay in this pose for just a few moments, feeling it in our body, noticing where our balance is, where we're lacking balance, where the discomfort is maybe in our shoulders or our hips. Focusing on the knee, making sure that the knee is directly above the ankle, but you can still see your toes. Close your eyes just for a moment here and connect with your body, moving from the, the bottom of your feet up through your legs into your hips up into your ribs, shoulders, arms, fingertips. Take a deep breath in. And exhale out. Take another deep breath in here. Exhale, hands to mat. Right leg back, high plank, low plank. 
Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, down. So go ahead and walk your dog out here. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. Connect with your breath. Give yourself a moment to reflect and to have just a calm space here for one moment as we take a deep breath in. Exhale, lift that left leg. Open up that left hip. Bring that left foot to the left thumb. Back leg to 45 degree angle. Find that foundation, be able to start to lift your upper body. Inhale, rise to your foot. So with Asteo, which is non-stealing, we practiced that yesterday. It's not always just stealing of like um, material items. It can be stealing your own peace, taking the time from away from someone else. Not being honest with yourself is also not is a stealing process because you're stealing away maybe something that is going to be the best thing for you. So considering what asteia means and how that can move us into generosity. Take another deep breath in here. Exhale, hands to back. Step back, high to low. Inhale, up dog, cobra. Exhale, down dog. Find your rest here, heavenly at your feet. So your wide, your body should start to be warming right now. Things are starting to soften. Allow that alchemy to take place, moving the, uh, the tissue and the tensions of the body. Allowing things to soften so where we may have been holding some restricted tension or energy, it starts to move all through the meridians. Take a nice deep breath in here. Exhale, right foot to right thumb. Warrior one. You're gonna extend those fingers out to help protect your wrist. It's gonna stabilize your wrist and moving down into the shoulder joints. Push your fingertips up towards the sky, squaring off your hips. Take a deep breath in here. Exhale, warrior two. Your gaze should be over the right middle finger. Bringing up that back arm and that back hand. A nice T along the front here. Take another deep breath in. We're gonna exhale, we're gonna reverse that warrior. So flip with our right palm, send that left arm back. And the right hand is going to extend over the head, so right bicep to right ear. Really reach over that head to open up the whole right side of that body, from the hip all the way up to the middle finger of the right hand. You want to make sure that you're spinning your right shoulder back and opening up that front part of the chest. So you really don't want to be forward and hunching forward. You want to open up and create space all through that front chest. Deep inhale here, exhale, extend to side angle, right arm to right knee. The left hand extends out overhead, keeping that left shoulder rolled back, and reaching up forward past your head here. Connect with your breath, use your ujjayi breath, or just even out your breath wherever your body is taking you today. Inhale, and as you exhale, we're gonna come back into warrior two. So brahmacharya, using our right use of energy, as we're moving through our practice, like I said, you may be using some ujjayi breath that might be creating a little too much heat or creating, expending too much energy. So slowing down the breath, creating more even breath, right use of energy so that we can sustain throughout our practice. We're sustained throughout life so we don't get burned out, creating consistency, 
knowing when it's time to rest instead of quitting pretending to rest so take another deep breath in exhale arms down to mat hands flat right step back lower down chaturanga inhale up dog or cobra exhale down Take a moment here to come to center. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, left foot to left thumb. Stabilize here, sending that right foot to into a 45 degree angle. Once you find your foundation, inhale and come up to warrior one. You want to pull in the low belly so that it's lifting that pelvis up, protecting that low back. Inhale here. Exhale, warrior two. Being mindful of where you are in space. Where is that back arm? Is it lifted up? Looking out and gazing through the middle finger here of your left hand, creating your focus. Where's that knee? Is that knee still right directly over your foot or where you can see your toes? Connecting with your breath here. Flip your left palm, reverse your right. Keeping that chest nice and open, rolling that left shoulder back and down. Reaching up overhead, feeling that stretch from the left hip all the way up through the left fingertips. Deep breath in here. Exhale, extend to side angle. And inhale, come back to warrior two. Take a deep breath in, hands to mat, step back with your left foot, high to low plank. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Stay here for just a moment, rolling those shoulders back, offering the heart here, lifting up the chin. Exhale, move into child pose. So you can either keep your knees together and round down your back just a little bit more if you need an extra stretch. Or you can open your knees wide and ground down and bring your belly down to the earth. Rest your head on the mat. Connect with your breath. So paragraha is the non-hoarding. And when we think of non-hoarding, it's not just materialistic things, but it could be um, an example we used yesterday was uh, your place in the yoga studio. When you're coming in every day and you were insisting that you have the same spot because that spot belongs to you. Or if you have an idea, that idea belongs to me. We are constantly in flux and flow. And when we allow the universe to place us where it sees that we need to go, we may find that there's more for us to discover or there's opportunity for us to blossom that we never even knew. So the act of letting go of things that we feel that belong to us gives us that freeing letting go feeling so that we can move through life with ease and flow and follow the divine nature of where we need to be, what place we need to be in, and to know that wherever we are right now is exactly where we need to be. So take another deep breath in. And exhale. 
Slowly come to rise. We're going to open up the throat chakra here. So we're going to come onto our hands and knees. So we're here in tabletop. We're going to bring our shoulders down. Okay. Then we're going to place our chin on the mat. So you can stay just like this if you want. And if you want to extend your arms out just a little bit, you can. And we're just going to kind of open up the front part of the throat. Slowly come to rise, and we're going to deepen that just a little bit. So grab your blocks. You're going to set them so that they're right in front. And you want to have them stay so that you can bring your elbows up onto them. You want to allow your hands to come up overhead, and you're going to drop that, that head and that chin down through the blocks. So if you need to widen that just a little bit, widen that. Bringing that chin up so that you create that space through the throat and you're deepening that stretch through the thoracic spine. If you need to come out of pose for a moment and reposition, you can do that. We're going to hold this just for a few more rounds of breath. take a deep breath in here and as you exhale slowly come out of pose just go ahead and move those blocks out of the way bring your hands down to your side come back into child's pose Allow the shoulders to soften and come towards the earth. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, come back to tabletop, tuck your toes down dog. So we're gonna inhale deep here. Exhale, look forward, step forward. Inhale to a halfway lift. Exhale to a fold. Opposite arms to opposite elbows. And allow yourself to just kind of sway from side to side, creating this wave from the base of the spine all the way up to the thoracic spine. So you're not moving side to side like all in one motion and everything is kind of locked in together. You want to create this wave. So your shoulders are more towards the left and your hips are more towards the right. And then you're going to switch that over. So you're creating this wave up through your spine. Starting to loosen up all the low back all the way up through thoracic spine into your head and neck, the chest kind of hangs. Practice this just for a few more moments. Really trying to get into all those little spaces, those nooks and crannies that we don't realize 
are being supporting all the time that they're now kind of stuck. We're getting them to loosen up. Take another deep breath in. Exhale, hands to mat. Inhale, come to rise. Mat pose. So we're going to cross over. So your right foot is over your left. We're going to sit down into that seat. Arms are going to come up straight out from the side. You're going to take your left elbow, cross it over. We're going to move into eagle arms, pressing those elbows away and lifting those fingertips up. See if you can sit just a little bit lower and move those fingertips up towards the sky and those elbows away from you. We'll work to move that away. Release those hands down, coming out to your sides. Release that right leg, balancing on that left foot. We're going to send that right foot back and move into airplane. Coming back up, we're going to swing that right leg in. We're going to lift that right knee in. We're going to hug that right knee in here like that. Now, if it's in your practice, you can either bring that right knee out or you can have the big toe and send that foot into a standing. Big hold, big toe hold. Bring that right knee back in, send that left leg back out. Good. We're going to cross the left leg over, come to seat, cross the right arm over the left, eagle arms. Push those elbows away, those fingertips up, sit down just a little bit lower. Really opening up those uh, shoulder blades away from the ribs. We're going to sit just a little bit lower, lift those fingertips up, push those elbows away. Then we're going to release those arms, going to bring them up to the side. We're going to take that left foot, we're going to unwind, and we're going to send it straight back. Keep that back foot activated. It's going to help strengthen that left leg as it's lifting up into the air. And bring that left leg back in. Hug it into your chest. Send it out to the left side. Bring that left knee back in. Take a nice deep breath in, arms all the way up. Exhale, pull forward. Relaxing that low back. You're going to take your right foot, you're going to step it forward. You're going to send that back, that left foot back so that you're in a high lunge. So really feel that through the left part of the front leg. We're going to come into a crescent lunge. So make sure that that right foot is, is grounded down through. We're going to lift up through our body here. Crescent lunge. Bring your hands to heart center. Take a nice deep breath in here. As you exhale, we're going to twist. So take your left elbow to your right knee. Press those palms together. Open up that front part of that chest. Roll that right shoulder back. Creating this twisting motion, helping our organs be able to function properly. 
detoxifying, helping our digestion, elimination. Take a deep breath in here and exhale, come back to center. Back into crescent lunge. Drop that back knee, bring that foot down, and we're gonna look back just a little bit here. Come back to center. You're gonna bring your hands down to the inside of your right foot. You're gonna let that right knee drop down. tabletop. Now we're going to take the left leg and we're going to bring the left leg forward. Send that right foot back. We're in runner's lunge here. Find that foundation. Start to rise. Come into crescent lunge. Press forward so that you're feeling that stretch all through the front part of that right hip. And bring your hands to heart center. Take a deep breath in here and begin your twist. Right elbow to left knee. Pushing those palms together, rolling back that left shoulder, opening up the front part of that chest. Deep breath in here. Exhale, come back to center. Inhale, crescent lunge. Opening up those ribs, expanding that chest, lifting up through the spine, elongating so that you feel that stretch all through that right hip. Exhale, place your hands down on the inside. Bring that knee. Good. And we're going to do a little bit of happy elephant. Hands down and out on the inside of the left leg. Drop that left knee out. And bring that back to center. Come back to tabletop. Take a nice deep breath in. Tuck your toes down dog. So we're going to lift that right leg up. Open up that front hip. Bring that knee into center. So that knee is going to hover just above the mat. Moving into more of a plank. And lift that leg back up. Opening up the front part of that hip. Twist back forward and bring that knee in. Bring that foot down to meet your left foot, and we're going to turn to the orange side plank, left arm down, right arm up. <laughs> Bring your hand down to the mat, move back into your down dog, take a nice deep breath in here, exhale out, left leg lift, open the front part of that left hip, bring that left knee in to hover, high plank, Left leg back up and bring it back in, high plank. Bring that left leg to meet that back foot. Right arm down, side plank, left arm up. And bring that arm back down. High plank here, low plank. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, down dog. 
So you're gonna take your right leg, you're gonna lift that leg right up into the air, and then you're gonna bring it so that you're gonna swing it forward. The shin is going to be parallel to the top of the mat. You're gonna send that left leg back, activating and flexing the toes, we're gonna to move into pigeon. So if it's in your practice today to sit straight up, you can put a block right up underneath your right hip. See how straight you can get that front part of the leg. If it's not there yet, that's fine, but activate those toes and that's gonna help open up and bring that right foot forward a little bit more. You want that left leg to be a straight arrow out of the joint. So from the hip to the foot, you want it to be straight back. You don't want it to be skewed to the left or to the right. Square off your hips and if you can, come down into elbow. We're gonna be here through a few rounds of breath. So again, practice Nahimza, practice Satya, practice um, any of the uh, for Brahmacharya. Honoring your body with where you are in your practice today. And that brings us to our authentic voice. When we are able to implement some of those principles in our life, the way that we're responding to situations, we're not just reacting or being triggered or working out of being defensive. We learn to speak from our authentic voice. And our authentic voice is love, is peace, is gratitude, is generosity. So when we come to situations that may arise that are challenging for us, we're able to dig deep and know that practicing ahimsa is going to bring us into peacefulness. And we can respond using our authentic voice in that situation showing peacefulness, showing kindness. We can practice satcha, which brings us into truthfulness and integrity. Our authentic voice is integrity. And knowing that no matter what is happening around us, we can dig deep and we can come to those principles and we can practice integrity, our authentic voice. You know, when it comes to non-stealing, we can realize where we may be falling, faulting in that area and something that we may be taking that is not belonging to us. And then we can move into generosity, our authentic voice. And when we're finding that we are not using our right, right use of energy, we can come into brahmacharya and we can express using our throat chakra, our heart center, that this is not right for us. And we learn how to say no to things that are not in our higher good, using our authentic voice, without guilt or excuse, but just no thank you. This is not right for me right now, but I appreciate the opportunity, using our authentic voice. And moving into to, um, apagraha, which is the non-hoarding, and moving into gratitude, which is our authentic voice. And knowing that not everything belongs to us, but we are gifted with the opportunity or the possibility of being able to experience these life-giving things, whether it's um, relationships or a job opportunity or having something that is materialistic for us to enjoy in this lifetime right now and being grateful using our authentic voice. Take a nice deep, nice deep breath in here. Come to lift up. Bring that right leg back. Tap your toes, move into down dog. Walk that out just a little bit here. Take your left leg, lift that left leg up into the air. Bring that left leg forward, sending that shin towards the front of the mat. Right leg back. Use a block if you need to. Props are there to help us to be able to move into deeper pose when we're ready. Come down onto your elbows if you can. And come into resting in this pose just for a few moments here.
So we also learned the mantra, Om Mani Padme Hum. Removing attachment to ego, removing attachment to prejudice, removing attachment to all of these things in order to create freedom, to bring us back to the space of love. Om Mani Padme Hum. Allowing us to practice patience, peacefulness, generosity, right use of energy, gratitude. Using the vibration of the mantras to clear those stagnant energies out of our bodies the things that we have been holding on to and suppressing that we no longer need, that we may not even realize is still there. Three or more rounds of breath in this hold. Allowing that last breath to really release any things that it's still holding on to. Sinking just a little bit deeper in the decision. Letting go of some emotional energy or mental energy that we may still have. Take a deep breath in and come to toward the top. And we've got left leg back. Swing those feet in forward, come to sit. Take a nice deep breath in, exhale, fold forward, and you at the hip. Inhale, come up. Bring those feet out to front and roll back onto your hips. So you're going to bring both knees in. Bring both knees in and give yourself a nice big hug. Begin to move your knees so that they create little circles on the ceiling. Massaging and opening up that low back. Move in one direction and then the other. Take a nice deep breath in. We're going to send our knees to the left, arms out to a T. Supine twist. Allowing gravity to take those knees down and touch the earth. Another breath in. Bring those knees back to center. As you exhale, send them out to the right. 
see how it gets to the right. Inhale, bring your knees back to center. Hug them in, bring them in as close as you can. As you exhale, you're going to let your um, heels fall to the corners of your mat, allowing your feet to display out. Bring your hands down to your sides, palms up or palms down, palms up to receive, palms down to ground. Find your balance. Create some space in your spine. Roll those shoulder blades back so that they are connecting with the earth. Lift your head away from your shoulders. Slightly tuck your chin. Soften your belly and your hips and your legs, your arms, your chest, your neck, your throat, your face, your head. Take a deep breath in. And exhale into Shavasana. Exchange with the earth as it pulls away anything that is toxic to you, anything that is not in harmony, and sending back security, peacefulness, energy. Charging your body and your cells. Replenishing everything that came from out. As you become one with the earth, you're going to send your awareness up through the top of your head, connecting your spirit to source, connecting with your higher self, feeling the exchange of energies as it takes away anything that is causing stress or strife. and sending light and love. And replenishing everything that came from that place, that source. back to the awareness of your breath. 
Feel an inhalation and exhalation as it rises your belly and exits through your nose. Begin to wiggle your fingers and toes, making larger motions with your ankles and your wrists. Lift your arms up overhead with a big body stretch. Take a nice deep breath in. And as you exhale, roll to your right side. We're going to stay here just for a moment, integrating our practice today, allowing our bodies to accept the changes and the shifts as things have moved out and light has moved in so that these changes can become permanent in the body so you may take them off the mat and into your journey. Coming back to the intention that you set for yourself today, maybe even gratitude for the opportunity to be here on your mat, spending time with yourself, breathing in some self-care, nourishing. Take another breath in. Exhale, come to a seated position at the top of the mat. And come into the house of prayer. We're going to seal our practice with an OM. Deep breath in. Oh.